Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Scorpios. And this is going to be for the week of the 4th through the 10th of June. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. I will be using my Affirmators Tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using my Clarity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. For everyone who stopped by, thank you and welcome, welcome. Oh my, thank I am so very grateful, so very grateful. And very thankful. And I wanted to let you guys know that I love you. And if you ever have something on your mind that is too personal to put into a comment, you can write me. Of course, keep it respectful in the sense like not nothing, you know, but if there's something on your mind that you need to chat with, you know, or there's a situation going on and you want to talk about it, you can always email me and I will reply. It might not be right away, but I give you my word, I will reply. So, Scorpio, let's see what messages we have for you. So Scorpio, this is for you. The Four of Pentacles. You're holding on to what you have very tightly right now. However, the seeds that you planted were well planted. Just be patient. The Four of Cups, you feel a little upside down. And hold on. Okay. So you feel a little upside down, I said, the four cups. Then I did say to be patient because if you're holding on to what you have very tightly right now. The page of wands, I do see there's some happiness coming. The wheel of fortune. Karmic good luck. What you put out, you shall receive. The knight of pentacles. Mm. Wanting some money? The Eight of Swords. Why are you feeling like, like trapped? Like you don't have a choice. The Sun. You do have choices. That's happiness. Page of Cups. Use your intuition, darlings. Okay, so let's see. The Four of Pentacles. On top of the four pentacles comes the seven of pentacles, okay? And the page of wands. You're learning a new skill or you just invested in something new. When you first do something, it seems like you're losing, okay? So I can understand the four of pentacles there you're holding on. But you are going to start seeing small steps of improvement. You got the seven of pentacles and you got the page of wands. It's just a new area you're in, okay? Things will straighten out. 
You're seeing small steps, or you will start seeing small steps. The moon. You need to listen to you and your intuition. Where your projects are concerned. Okay, pay attention. Right now you're a little tied up inside. Got the moon and got the eight of swords. There's some kind of fear that you that surrounds you that like you feel trapped. You feel like you can't move. Maybe it's change that you're fearful of. But I'm saying that you know you need to examine that. I got the moon here and I got the eight of swords. And then we got the four of cups here. You're feeling upside down emotionally. That's because you're in your head. You're feeling like you're trapped. You don't have a choice. You don't want change. You feel like your hands are tied. But we have choices. On top of the four of cups, you got the star. And you got the emperor. You have choices, darlings. Open your eyes. I know sometimes we go through things in life and, you know, it seems like the darkest possible moment at that time. Always remember that the darkness always brings the light. Always. We can have bumps in the road. That doesn't mean that we give up or we feel that's all we're worth or worthy of. Okay. So you got the star card and you got the emperor. Keep the faith. There is stability possible. There are many possibilities. Just start healing. Start loving yourself. I got the star card and I got the emperor above the four of cups. Oi! All right. So let's see the page of wands. top of the page of wands we have the ace of pentacles and we got the two of wands it's something you've been wishing for a new beginning a financial new opportunity maybe a new dot maybe a new job maybe a promotion maybe you're gonna come into some money but you've been waiting for it you've been longing and hoping for it just don't give up on top of the page of wands comes the ace of pentacles and the two of wands. And then you got the wheel of fortune. Forward movement. You got the five of cups. You have some regret and some remorse. I don't know if it has anything to do with the eight of swords up here in the past there. <laughs> If it does, you need to get out of the past and you need to start being in the present. One of the ways to do that is to start the healing process. Start visiting those things in the back there that you don't want to visit. Okay? Start doing that for you. Start taking care of you. Start loving you. It's going to be emotional. You got the five of cups here. But then you got the judgment card. This is like renewal. It's forgiveness. On top of the wheel of fortune. You got the five of cups here and you got the judgment card. Go visit that sad past. Start healing. Start taking care of you. Forgive you. Forgive others. And remember, forgiveness is not for them. It's just for you. It's just for you. For your peace. You got the Knight of Pentacles here. And on top of the Knight of Pentacles, you got the Tower. And you got the Page of Pentacles. And you're going to have to start. You, you going to have to. You, you got to visit the past. The Tower says, stop all habits and ways regarding love. 
and you need to change some attachments to how you view money. I got the page of pentacles here. You have to do some work on yourself. You're going to do have to do a little bit of work. You're going to feel like things will fall down. Sometimes when we go through a period of renewal, Or we're making forward movement. Maybe you've already visited the past. I'm not saying that life will be perfect. No. What I'm saying is that no matter what comes, what happens along the way, you will be able to pick yourself up a little faster. You will be able to handle the bumps in the road. I'm not saying you're never going to be sad. And I'm not saying bad things or, or, or bumps in the road, like I like to say, will not happen. You'll just be able to handle it a little better. And sometimes in life, things need to fall down. Okay, We need to have a tower moment so we can crumble. So we can hit rock bottom just to come back up and be a little stronger. All right? In a good way. Whatever we do, we do for the greater good. We manifest good things for the collective. We love and we be kind. That was Benjamin again. Just now. <laughs> so you're gonna have a tall moment here and you got the page of pentacles. I say everything will be okay. Then you got the Eight of Swords. And of course, when you have a tall moment, you know, you feel a little oh, tied up. Um, I have the Death card and the Four of Pentacles. Now the Death card it does mean change. All right. Now, just like the towel, like I was explaining, you know, sometimes things have to break down in order to be built back stronger. Well, with the death card here, sometimes we have to shed or get rid of the old in order to be in the present. So we can, you know, let go of that crap that has been holding us down. So there's a change coming for you, okay? The change is not going to be a bad change. It's going to bring you some stability. I got the four of, I got the death card and I got the four of pentacles. Then there's going to be happiness. Got the sun. Well, here you go again. Huh? Can't stay out of your head. Just do me a favor then. Get a pen and paper. Write down all the things that are worrying you. Solve the things that you can and scratch them off the list. And the things that you can't solve, let it go. Let it go. Okay? Stop overthinking. It's, it feeds negative energy, you know, and it keeps. You gotta take a breath. Breathe. I got the Nine of Swords there, then I got the Ten of Pentacles. All right? The Nine of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. On top of the Sun card. Excuse me. You might be coming into some kind of money. Um, maybe from an inheritance or something. But it will be enough for you to take care of yourself and feel stable. And take care of your family. That's the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles above the Sun card, okay? Benjamin, give me a minute. And then we got the Page of Cups. You need to start using that intuition that you do have. You got the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. 
You're going to be receiving some messages, and that's maybe what you're waiting for. You're going to be receiving um, like good messages, maybe about love. And there's going to be some kind of shift around you, either job-wise or with your relationship. The Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Now, I got the devil and the fool. All right. There's going to be a new beginning for you. But you got to do a little work on you. It's going to be a good new beginning, new love, new something. But you got to visit and heal the back there, you know, the places that you don't want to go. I got the devil and I got the fool. You need to do a little work on you. But there's a new beginning. And there you are. Scorpio, the king of cups, emotionally stable and very magical. Just start healing, okay? I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. I will chat with you soon. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I love you guys. Bye.